my life, I have been a person of size who was extremely active. My kidneys have always been fine until a diagnosis of psoriasis led to a regimen of medications which impacted my kidneys. Suddenly, I found myself facing a diagnosis of chronic kidney disease stage 4 and type 2 diabetes. All my doctor was able to tell me was to lose weight and to prepare for dialysis. But I wasn't ready to give up. I took classes and read and became as educated as I could on CKD. This is how I found out that I could improve my kidney health by eating more fruits instead of less and by using one amazing herbal remedy. Eventually, I was able to reverse my kidney disease and to manage diabetes. I am not risking dialysis anymore. I'm in stage 3 now and my doctor is completely baffled. Catherine here, today we will see this incredibly inspiring success story. Debra is a 69-year-old writer and mother of four. She has been living with diabetes for many years. 2018 was the year that changed everything for her. When she took hold of her health, she was able to stop the progression of her stage 4 CAD and significantly improve her A1C. She is now safely in stage 3B and she's dedicating her time to teach others how to do this. There are four changes that made all the difference for her. Nutrition, mindset, and don't miss the number four in particular because that's an herbal medicine that made the biggest difference. When Deborah contacted me and told me about her journey with diabetic kidney disease, there is one thing that shocked me the most. She was able to manage diabetes by eating more fruit. Yes, this is incredible. So I immediately asked her what are the fruits she liked to eat most. Here's what she says about eating with diabetes and CKD. Eating a renal diet and eating carefully for diabetes was a challenge because they seemed to be in conflict. I had to be mindful of my potassium and of sugar and this faced me to avoid a long list of foods. Yep, say no more, I thought. There is indeed a list of foods that most patients need to avoid, especially those with a potassium allowance. Some vegetables that will be very good for someone with diabetes such as potatoes, tomatoes, squash, but also beans and zucchini are too high in potassium. Now guys, not everything is doom and gloom here. While the limitations of a renal and diabetic diet seem unsurmountable, there's a list of foods that are actually good for both. Just like many of you probably already did, Debra found out that certain foods can actually be eaten by both diabetic and CA patients. Here are some of her favorites. Some of the foods she believes made all the difference in managing diabetic kidney disease. So, Debra, what food you believe help you most? I really do like barley. I believe it's one of the best whole grains replacements for rice and pasta because it has low potassium and phosphorus content compared to almost any other whole grain. Oh, you are 100% right on this one. And I want to add that not only is barley a low glycemic grain, great for people with diabetes, but it is also very high in magnesium, great to lower blood pressure. What makes barley so healthy for you is a type of soluble fiber called beta-glucans. This type of fiber has been linked to a long list of health benefits and studied extensively for its ability to lower cholesterol levels, decrease inflammation, improve blood sugar management, and more. Another food that she really likes is leeks. Here's what she says about it. By using different combinations and adding different seasonings, I was able to have a good variety of foods to work with. And leeks are great because they add a little bit of flavor to anything you cook them with, but without being overwhelming. Yes, leeks are super healthy and many people don't know this, but the diet rich in leeks may help improve your circulation, immune system, gut health, and even stimulate your kidneys. The reason behind all these incredible benefits are the sulfur compounds leeks are rich in. Sulfur is a component of several processes that detoxify the body. And what about fruits? 
What I really like to eat are plums. I've also learned that I can dry raw plums at home so I don't have to resort to buying those sugary prunes they sell at the grocery store. I just put the plums from my tree in the oven, I sprinkle them with fresh thyme and I leave them to dry in oven 3 hours. And yes, in my opinion, that's a great choice. Plums are great when it comes to controlling blood sugar levels too for people who have diabetes. They have slow release carbs that are beneficial for regulating blood sugar levels. Another fruit that Deborah grows at home, fears. I really like making my own jam at home without sugar so I can enjoy the pears from my tree whenever I want. The only thing that helped me more than the diet is a natural remedy I found out that's extremely good at managing diabetes. Oh, you really seem to put a lot of effort in making your diet a fun one and not a hard one. How are you able to do that? My diet became a hobby. Three years ago, I started to gain some weight back and my kidney function was not improving and it was a real struggle for a while to get fresh vegetables. I went back to the renal dietitian in early 2021. I was at a GFR of 13. She recommended I go plant-based. Simple switches made it easy. I went from dairy to almond milk and creamer. I stopped eating eggs totally and no chicken for fish. I tried to use as many natural and processed foods as possible. There were challenges especially because I still had to watch my potassium. I lost more weight and have maintained the weight loss of about 50 pounds now. My husband and I grow some of our own vegetables and fresh herbs. We made our diets into a hobby and now shopping is much more fun instead of restricting. So guys, it looks like she really enjoys her fruits and still she was able to get her kidney function back on track. So now the question is, can you eat fruit and still improve with diabetes? This is a debate topic because many people believe that fruit is a source of sugar that should be avoided. But is it true? Many diabetes patients are so scared about eating fruits that they even comment on my videos to tell me that fruits are bad for them. They totally want to avoid eating any fruit at all. Can you imagine how bad will that be for their kidneys and whole body? It's a myth that all fruit should be avoided by diabetics. Fact. There are no forbidden fruits on a diabetes-friendly eating plan. Studies show that eating more whole fruits may actually be linked to improved insulin levels and better blood sugar control. Opting out for fruits that are lower in sugar may help, but you can still enjoy any of them if you stick to the proper portion sizes. It's a fruit, it's not a dessert. So believe it or not, the notion that fruit is not safe when you need to watch your blood sugar levels is a popular diabetes myth that has been debunked. And people like Deborah are actually eating fruit as a part of a kidney repairing diet. Okay guys, almost time to see a remedy that made a huge difference for Deborah. Before that, when I asked Deborah what good habit made the biggest difference for her, this was her answer. I kept a food tracker and I logged everything I ate snacks, meals, and even tastes. Even though carbs were still a part of my meals, my diabetes was getting better. I made my own bread and even my own pasta. I also lost almost 40 pounds. Now guys, what made all the difference for Deborah was getting informed, reading, learning, keeping her blood pressure and blood sugar under control. But it wasn't easy for her to find out about the importance and the power of knowledge. You see, Debra is what she defines as a person of size and that's all what most doctors can see when she steps into their offices. It's the easiest diagnosis of them all. You have to lose weight. There was no talk of renal diet or supplements or modifications in the regime of medicines she was taking. But you know, I don't believe that what caused all her troubles was her weight. Deborah and I talked a lot before making this video and she shared with me some of her medical records. It's easy for me to say this in retrospect, but what damaged Deborah's skin is, is not her weight, it's the medications. A diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis led to a regimen of medications which impacted my kidneys. 
For two and a half years, I was prescribed 1800 milligrams of ibuprofen to handle the pain. Once diagnosed, I was put on weekly methotrexate shots and prednisone. I was told to keep taking the ibuprofen as needed. Then I was put on Enbrel, which helped the psoriasis arthritis, but my kidney disease progressed and so did my diabetes. I started to pass blood in my urine. When I went to have labs drawn, they discovered my kidneys had crushed. My A1C was 13. That's when I started to care for my own health. And I decided that even if my doctor was talking about dialysis, I was not ready to give up. Now guys, I'm not the only one saying this. Deborah's nephrologist also confirmed this theory. All these medications are the real cause of Deborah's kidney problems. You see, 1800 milligrams a day of ibuprofen is enough to cause significant kidney damage even mm. alone. Methotrexate is also a known danger for the kidneys and prednisone is, on the other hand, known to cause insulin resistance. So I'm not surprised at all to know that she was only able to improve when her lifestyle and diet changed at the point that she was able to lower her need for these medications. Now guys, there is one more thing that I want to show you from Deborah's journey. There is a remedy she believes made a huge difference in the treatment for diabetes and kidney disease. This is a remedy that can lower blood sugar by more than 30%. It can lower cholesterol by up to 50 milligrams per DL. And it can make you lose weight. This is berberine. And I wasn't surprised at all when she mentioned it. I've personally met people with diabetes losing weight visibly just by taking this remedy. They were as surprised as their doctors when their blood sugar levels started to go down instead of up. And the only change they made was taking this remedy before their main meals. Guys, these amazing properties are all documented by large studies, which means this remedy works for everyone. Now, if you want to learn everything about berberine, this video up here is for you. By the way, guys, I know that a lot of you watching me right now had positive, inspiring success stories with kidney disease. So if you want to share your story too, this is the place. Let me know in comment section so we can talk about it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.